Steven Fulton! And Steven Fulton has gotten the most emphatic victory! All credit to Steven Fulton because he told Al Heyman, I want this fight. Go make this fight. Boxing needs more of this. Once we heard Inoue was moving up, I said, let's reach out to them, see if we can make this fight. And we made it happen, just like this. And I feel like that's a part of 2023 being a big year for sport of boxing. Ramon stalks Fulton. There was that counter. Parcel shot, here's his straight left. Bang, oh my. When you look at pound for pound, you think these guys need to be there. And that's why this fight stacks up because all the great fights that we've seen in 2023 mean that it's a wonderful place to be for the sport. It's been proven in three weight classes that no matter what you do, no matter what you bring, Naoya Inoue has an answer, but he's never faced a fighter like Steven Fulton, the man who has different tools that he hasn't been in the ring against. まあ、印象はあの、まあ、足を使って ジュニアランド Three punch combination oh. goes back to it again. Oh! Big time shot to the body by Inaway. Destructive work from the monster. Uppercut, body shot again. My, my. Three body shot knockdowns and a knockout victory for the great Naoya Inaway. Everything is special about this fight. You have a guy moving up, undisputed, from a lower weight class, and you have a guy like myself who's the king of his weight class, unified, who's been here and, and, and knocked off nine undefeated fighters. The styles just match up perfectly. And we both have a name. He has his country behind him, as well as his knockout power. You know, he's a technical fighter, I'm a technical fighter. He's a smart fighter, I'm a smart fighter. When you put those type of fighters together, it, it, kind, of, it kind of shakes the, the divisions up. Fulton is a fighter who can do a little bit of everything. I equate him to a Shane Mosley because Shane Mosley maybe wasn't an A-plus fighter, but man, he was an A, A-minus, B-plus fighter all the way across. And I, that's what I see with a fighter like Seven Fulton. He is slick. I believe in myself. My team, of course, they believe me. My trainer, he wouldn't have allowed me or he would have had more insight on me not taking this fight if he didn't believe in me. I feel like my fighting style is very smart, intelligent fighting style. I fight to my mood, however I'm feeling. I appreciate pitting myself through these things, because that's what takes a man to this next level, his next height.
I love working hard. No one wants to lose, especially no one wants to lose their titles and the chance of, you know, staying a world champion. So that right there, I, I raised the bar for myself.